citizens of the Reject Nation, it's me, Tara Erickson, alongside my friend Batman. Sorry, what's your real name? It's Bruce Wayne. Oh, that's a good name, too, but tell him your real name. Okay, next. Andrew oh. Flash Gordon. Oh, that's such a cool name. We're going to watch Now You See Me. Do you see me right now? No, where are you? Oh, there you are. Sorry. Somewhere better than this. I'll tell you that much. Listen, you got to leave a like. You got to type in the computer. You got to leave comments, you guys, so that people think we are cool. And you also have to ring the bell. Ring the bell. Yeah, you got to get on our side. Ring that bell. Also, if you're not already on Patreon, you need to get on there because then you could sync up with your full copy. What's the whole thing with me and Batman right here? The whole entire movie. You know, you are you might miss stuff if you're not on Patreon to get the whole thing. Like stuff that we're saying, like ums and ahs and I don't know, jokes that maybe didn't make the cut. You know what I mean? Might miss some references from me. Yes, and he, he has a lot. Almost too many sometimes. I'm like, close the book for a second. <laughs> You know, it's, it's a lot. He can fire a lot at it's you. True. So get prepped. Okay, guys, don't forget that Greg and John cover several shows over there on Patreon exclusively with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. So just get to Patreon. You guys know what's good for you. Are you ready? So ready. Okay. Want to see some magic? Yeah. Now you see me, now you don't. Here we go. Come in close. Because the more you think you see, the easier it'll be to fool you. Uh, did you see one? Yes. And do you see your card here? No. That's because you're looking too closely. Wait, making it rain with cards? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. That was amazing. Now, look into my eyes. Oh. <laughs> and you can get this bill from me. You can have it. Get it? If you can say your name, you can have it. Why can't anyone play this game with me? You're thinking of a woman's name. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J, G, Jane, Janet. Who's Janet? Uh, what? It's not your best friend, is it? Your sister. Please. Your Oh, oh, boy, buddy. You were away on Janet, no. your wife's sister. Okay. Uh, uh. What is this? Uh, 200 seem fair? You know what? This is a big deal. Let's go 250. You're a stick up artist. And sleep. Now, when I snap my fingers, you won't Whoa. remember any of this. Right in the middle of everywhere, too. And think of Janet. You're going to picture me <coughs> naked. And that's uh -huh. not a pretty sight. Yeah. And yeah. wide awake. He didn't even need a room for that. We did the best we could, but some people just aren't to be hypnotized. I did it wrong? No, no, you did it fine. Uh -huh. Did good. I mean, I'm 250 bucks uh, cheap, less than my wall, but we did fine. One hundred dollars. Is there anyone who can tell me how this trick is done? I have an ordinary spoon from Mel's Deli right here in Brooklyn. Check it out. There is no spoon. <laughs> I'm about to bend this spoon with my mind. Oh. How? Thank you. Thank you. That's my rap. What's this? What, what are you what, doing, what, 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 man? Uh, I got other tricks. Or you can give me my hundred bucks. You have a very good eye, sir. Thanks. Yeah, but he didn't say you could physically touch me. He said to tell me. Yeah, the same. man. Get the rules right, bro. Oh. Oh, uh, oh dang. Love it. Score. He is a magician, after all. He's got my wallet. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I'm not for thievery, but that was awesome. I'm all for thievery. Oh, I love her. Whoa, hey girl, hey! Oh my God, those guys looked way too excited just to see a girl in like <laughs> a bathing suit. Uh. Oh, she's she can't get up. Uh. Ever since what the prestige, the... I don't like. I don't like these kinds of scenes. What the? F uh. I feel like it's part of the act, but I can't yeah, tell. Yeah, I can't tell either. 
What? 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 How are you gonna escape that? Oh no! Oh, that's gonna be crazy to no. escape that. She's escaping. I'm telling this you. This is this is great. This is a great stunt. Yeah. No, she's for sure oh, escaping. What? Oh, that was awesome. Oh my god. Spooky. Oh my god. It's so hard. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is it always a seven? I could do that trick 52 different ways. Can you do 52 different tricks on me? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. What? <laughs> 45 East Devon Street. No, don't, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll call you. You don't have my number. I'm magic. I'll find it. Have a good night. It's like, look for my number on the side of a building. Huh, yeah. Uh, well, we got our roster of group of magicians. Ah. Uh, does somebody want to kill these magicians? What's this card stuff well, about? Well, I'm assuming the card that they all have is from that person in the hood. Oh, yes. Who's just been lurking around. Just watching them, inspecting them, making sure they're all worthy. <laughs> of, of being magicians. I didn't know you had to be worthy of that. You're going to join the club. <sighs> Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Oh, um, all right. Can she reach in there? <laughs> Bring them all together. Henley. Danny? Her name's Henley. You wait out here. I will come back and get you. Okay, do not come in. Okay? Hey, Danny. Yeah. Not your assistant anymore. Nice hair. Ha ha ha. Okay, so apparently none of us was the only one chosen. Let me be the first one to kick my ego to the curb. <laughs> you. Now, hold it. Don't tell me. Uh, Helen? No, no. Henley. It's on your coffee cup. Thanks for keeping me honest. <laughs> <laughs> Sensing you are a control freak. Wait, well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> Only he would take it as a compliment. Good. Another compliment. <laughs> That's why you're no longer a couple. No, no, no. We, we, we were, were never, never a, a couple. couple. This is foreshadowing. <laughs> They're going to end up married at the end of the movie. I, I see it. Hey, Daniel Atlas. Dude, I've seen everything that you have ever done. I mean, you're like, I, I idolize you, I'm seriously. I'm a true fan. No, it's not yeah. nice to meet you. <laughs> are we, we waiting for someone? Why, why are we just... The door's locked. locked. Oh, no, nothing, nothing's ever locked. Who's behind the door? The Oracle? Yeah, what's going on here? Perfect oh, guy to have that for That was this. so fast. What's it say? It's a test. Now you don't. Hmm. A rose by any other name. Oh. What the? Oh, it's going to fill up that little thing on the floor? Whoa! Electricity's out. Well, let's check. Feels like it's out of a Saw movie. Yeah, it kind of does. <gasps> Blueprints. Okay, this doesn't look like magic. It looks like engineering and math. Huh. Roll credits. <laughs> the end. That was a good movie. Oh, so good. Merritt McKinney. Oh. Daniel Atlas. <laughs> Henley Reeves. Jack Wilder. The Four Horsemen. Oh. All right. We're going to do something never before seen on a Las Vegas stage. Or any stage for that matter. That's a humongous crowd. Yeah, and a giant stage. We are going to rob a bank. Cool. That's funny. I've seen that done once in a Batman the Animated Series uh, episode with Zatanna. It was really they did that? Yeah. Something along the lines of that, yeah. Morgan Freeman. Oh, I didn't know he was in this. No recording allowed during the performance. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Cool. Let me just put this away. Actually, I need to take that. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
to the same kind of trick in the Dark Knight. And Jack's bowl are ping pong balls with section numbers. Jack, can you hand me a section number? Thank you. We are looking at section B. I want to go to this show. Seriously. It's not the same show, but this makes me sad. I never got to see Siegfried and Roy. Oh, yeah. Uh. We are looking at row number five. Where is that? And uh, Henley, can I please have a random seat number? Lucky number 13. B513. Is it going to be Morgan Freeman? Or, oh, no. Ah, there you are. Hi. My name is uh, Etienne Forcier, and my bank is uh, Crédit Républicain de Paris. Huh. Could you please come up to the stage? We'll uh, rob your bank. <laughs> <laughs> There is someone here tonight, without whom we would just be four magicians working the circuit, or Mr. Arthur Tressler. Please stand up, Art. The only man here with the queen cell phone. Hey, Michael oh. Caine! I love him. Damn, they got Alfred and Lucius Fox here. My cocaine. We haven't done our closer yet. Why don't you watch it and then you can decide for yourself. Oh, he's doing his hypnotic trick on him. Oh, interesting. What Jack is bringing to the stage now is what we in the magic world Smart. call a teleportation helmet. Crazy. This is it will allow you to literally to your bank. It has the added attraction of being very stylish. It's about time the French learned from America on that subject. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that one. Okay. There you go. Swap. Now, show it to your friends in section B there, but but not to us. Card we started the movie out with. Put it in your pocket. And now for one tiny detail. What? Oh my god, how'd she do that? Get out of here. Whoa. All right. Cool. <laughs> That's 8.50 a.m. in Paris. Your bank opens in less than 10 minutes. One, two, three. Whoa! Oh, my God, that's terrifying. I like that little French guy. Where'd he go? No. Really? No. Oh, my God. There he is. How? I want you to take the card that you signed out of your pocket, and I want you to take the ticket stub from tonight's show, and I want you to put it right there in the middle of the money. Huh. Now, drop it. That's the smartest thing to do? No. It's like, oh, to say he robbed his own bank, right? Yeah. Like, On the side of your helmet, you should feel a button. Activates an air duct that connects Paris to, to Las Vegas. Okay, good. Now you can press it. What? Oh, wait a second. Is it all going to Vegas? And they're going to open that thing and money just going to start falling out? Uh-oh. Uh oh, merde. What? <laughs> what? That's insane. That's great. But they're just all allowed to take money that they know was part of a robbery? I, <laughs> I mean, it's a cool trick, don't get me yeah. wrong, but they visually saw a robbery. <laughs> I would take it. I, I'd be like, it the magicians still, did it. It was still a cool trick. Don't, again, do not mistake it. Thank you, everyone. We are the four, four horsemen. horsemen. Good night. Good night. But is that not, again, visual of a crime? <laughs> Even if it was in another country? That's crazy. That's nuts. Is that is that Mark Ruffalo? Yes, it is. Ah. Damn, we got a lot of comic book actors in this movie. Did you say magicians? Yeah, Dylan. Magicians. Where are you now? I'm at Aria. I'm heading up there to grab him now. Another comic book actor. He's in Man of Steel. Let's go. Get him up. Come on. Let's go. Do one of you guys mind giving us a hand with our bags? Okay, so this is like one big long setup. They plan this. They want to go to jail. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You you don't just yeah. show off a robbery like that right. unless you plan. I mean, I assume they had like I don't know that they were gonna be like. I'm a month, two tops away from blowing this whole thing open. Another comic book character. I don't have time for this magic crap. This crap just pulled three million euro out of a Parisian bank. That's how much they got? Yeah. Actually, 3.2. Al Madre from Interpol. It's bad enough they got me chasing down David Copperfield. <laughs> <laughs> he believes the magic was real. Oh, he believes the magic was real. You're right. He probably is useless. Is it okay with Interpol if, if we talk to him, too? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Can you explain to me how you went from Las Vegas to Paris in three seconds? With a teleportation helmet. 
He was hypnotized during the show. Okay, I'll deal with you when I'm done with this other bullshit. <laughs> oh. What? Come on down. You're not in the Philharmonic. How do you say stop in French? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to let him finish his movement. Okay, I need a timeout. I didn't know like hypnotism could last like a long, long time. <laughs> yeah. We can work together, or you can continue to follow behind asking the same exact questions I'm asking. It's up to you. Come on, man. Teamwork makes the dream work. Also, she's very pretty. You are a, a mentalist. Tricks mostly, um, some science. Uh, targeted guessing might be a most apt description, along with some intuition and the occasional voices in my head. <laughs> I'm going to look that up in the dictionary after we're done. <laughs> If you didn't rob that bank, then you knew about it, which makes you an accomplice. So if you want to walk out of here today, I... you think there's a DA in the state of Nevada who'd be willing to make sense of this to a jury, then we have a show to perform. <laughs> and you, Agent Rhodes, have a drawing board to get back to. They do make a cute couple. Not yeah. Literally begging to be arrested, you know that? If it means you would actually do it, then yeah, but you won't. Because if you did, it means that you will actually believe at an institutional level in magic. <laughs> and we'd be even more famous than we already are, and you guys would look like idiots even more than you already are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't draw him in and then dump him because abandonment is a big area for uh, him. Oh. Mommy, daddy. <laughs> I feel like he's about to snap on him. Maybe that's his plan because then he gets to touch him. Right? Oh, Because then, yeah. then he could do a, a trick on the him. thing. Yeah, it's hypnotizing. We will always be one step, three steps, seven steps ahead of you. And just when you think you're catching up, that's when we'll be right behind you. And at no time will you be anywhere other than exactly where I want you to be. So come close. The closer you think you are, the less you'll actually see. I'm going to nail you. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Holy. Wrong with that soda? Tamale. Whoa. Oh my goodness. First rule of magic, always be the smartest guy in the room. Huh. That was amazing. That's awesome. Ah, I love all of it. <laughs> it's going to say, like, what do you charge the, doing magic 3,000 miles or however many miles away they were? I mean, right. Like, how do you even? How do you prove that in court? I ran a check on the audience. But guess who was sitting there in the back filming the whole damn thing? I don't know. Thaddeus Bradley. Bradley. The guy from TV with the DVDs and the shows? No. Is that Morgan Freeman's? He debunks magicians. He exposes them. He shows you how they do their trick. Oh, okay. So yeah, it is him. Lionel Shrike, Midland magician. My first show, I revealed all of his tricks. A year later, he tried to stage a comeback. Had himself locked in a safe and dropped to the bottom of the East River. Ugh. The safe was never recovered. He attempted something he was ill-prepared to handle. We were about to do the same thing. But I assure you, Vegas was just a start. Watch, Michael Caine is going to be a Lyle. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I don't know. We're trying to nail the same guy, so why, why don't you give us a hand? Now, why would I do that? How about I just drag you in right now on obstruction charges and force you to tell me? Unless what you're actually really trying to say is, is you don't have any idea how they did it. He has every idea how they did it. The real trick is happening somewhere else. I want to know how they robbed the bank. You're an idiot if you think they robbed the bank. Yeah, with the eyes see and the ears hear, the mind believes. Yeah. Misdirection. At least that's what Swordfish told me. Step right up. There you go. Oh, she's going to turn into the Hulk. How do you get access to this? I was about to, to just ask, like, ask, how does he, uh, and they how just does let he him know have the Hulk. how to like. They're like, we're nitpickers. <laughs> Oh, it's oh. just like below the stage, oh, and it so looks he, like uh, that's oh, great. So, so they made a replica. Personally, preferred to take the stairs, Paris. So that's they pick they pick that guy from the stage way beforehand. Yeah. Got it. That's awesome. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> they chose him. They knew which seat he was in. No, no, no. The huh. audience picked the seat. They let them think they picked the seat. Actually, they were just palming the ball with the seat number they wanted. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Could you just confirm that this is, in fact, your seat? He was selected. Yeah, but then they did the hypnotizing trick, too. Right. Uh, they programmed his mind to make him go Las to Las Vegas. Vegas, and then they kept reinforcing it until he did. Oh. Nothing was left to chance. That's awesome. Hold on, Monsieur. I got his measurements. Wow. Huh. And they simply activated him in Vegas. Yep. 
But how do they know what bank was his? You kidding? Really? Can you be any more of a condescending ass? Yes. <laughs> uh. Credit card. And that's how they got the signature for the card? You said they didn't steal the money. No, I didn't say they didn't steal the money. I said they didn't rob the bank. Yeah. My guess is that they targeted a shipment of freshly minted money headed to the Frenchman's bank on board an armored truck. Okay. Just as hard to break into, unless you're already inside. Mm. Oh. God, I really thought that was the greatest magic trick of all time. Yeah. <laughs> For our horsemen, it's ah. almost too easy. Huh. Nice. Okay. How do they make the phony money disappear from the vault? Flash paper. Magicians use it all the time. Huh. Creates no smoke, leaves no residue. I'm actually really starting to believe my Michael Cocaine is Lyle guy. Because he's right. getting revenge on Morgan Freeman. I don't know. I might be right on the head. So what's in it for Trussler besides the money? Ego. Okay, pick your card, look at it, put it in the deck, and tell me. Uh, don't, don't. I was gonna say, does they take away the trick? <laughs> yeah. These guys are a bunch of street magicians a year ago with no resources. So how do they go from doing that to this without some kind of outside help? Is this a card? No, my card's sitting on banana. That guy's left. She kind of huh. got it right. What I hate is people who exploit other people by taking advantage of their weaknesses, their need to believe in something that's unexplainable. Is this your card? Yeah. Is this a foreshadowing for something she's going to do later on in the film? Meaning, like, she might be in on it at the, or like... Do me. Oh, yeah. You had a dog. A real tough dog. A brutish breed. Like yeah. a real, I want to say, bend the bulldog. I had a fluffy white cat called Snaffle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good name for a cat. You had an uncle on your mother's side. Uh, some kind of Paul. Thompson? Was it a poll? Nearly that. <laughs> was I? Yeah. My uncle's name was Cushman Armitage. <laughs> <laughs> he should have went through the alphabet. You got an uncle, and then he needs to do the A, B, C, D, E, and watch for eye movement. I already know how to do it, and I've only seen this movie for 20 minutes. Uh. He has every member of his crew wearing a tracking bracelet. As long as Atlas is tracking them, Next. our boys can track Atlas from right here in the mobile command unit. Interesting. I'd be like, yo, am I at work or in prison? <laughs> What's up with this ankle bracelet? Well, remember at the first show, no one was allowed to have cell phones there. Yeah. It's like very controlled environment. Totally. Do you really think it's possible there's a fifth horseman? Yeah. Fifth horseman? Is that what you just uh, said? Yeah. Huh. There is a legend of a secret order born in ancient Egypt called the Eye. It is said they perfected sleight of hand to steal food. He's got such an epic voice. I know, it's the best. Him and James Earl Jones. Yes. Using magic and delusion to even the scales of justice. Are the horsemen next in a long line of fools to believe this myth? Hmm. According to your potential backers, you stand to make two and a half million tops from your best special. Damn. Three and a half million. Ah. Uh. You're in this to ride them up. I'm in it to ride them down. I take it that we do not have a deal. I would take that deal. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the first time I've been threatened. It is, however, the first time you've been threatened by me. Ah. Mm -hmm. One who uses a doll to enact one's own wrath is likely to bring that very wrath back on him. himself. Yeah. And I thought you didn't believe in magic. I don't like it when Alfred and Lucius don't get along. <laughs> it does make sense, though, that like when someone who is so rich, like even if they're in the wrong, they can just pile on pile and people and like lawyers and court cases. Oh, yeah. It's I like, mean, Ugh. it's so unfair. I know. It's, like, <laughs> Ugh. it's so frustrating. Which is why money gives you so much power. power. Yeah. Well, I always love that line with Bruce Wayne where they said, well, what's your superpower? I'm rich. Jack Wilder, huh. Henley Reeves, Merritt McKinney. All oh, right, whose bank are they gonna rob uh, this time? <laughs> Look as closely as possible, because the tricks you are about to see may not seem connected, but we assure you they are. And now for one of the oldest tricks in the book. Oh, the oh, rabbit. Little bunny. Sleep, down, down. Sleep, sleep. We are gonna debunk a few magic myths this evening. We all know that Fluffy is in fact alive and well. Oh. <laughs> 
Atlas has the mirror, which makes the box only appear as though it's empty. Your job is to tackle, dismantle the quarterback. Who's the quarterback? Uh, Whoa. That's, that's cool. cool. Uh, Perfectly synced, man. Yeah. <laughs> what is it when you say uh, you owe me a Jinx. Coke? Jinx. Personal Jinx, one, two, three, five. Terror times ten. You will be the one saying that word, freeze. Two, one. Whoa. Cool. Oh, that's like a set. Oh, what if the quarterback is like Morgan Freeman or they're trying to like. No. That's dope. I want to do that. That does look fun. I want to go fly in a bubble. Yeah. That would just suck if you're like about 15, 30 feet high yeah. in the bubble Pop. burst. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Cool. <laughs> it's like a hero, an insulting hero, my favorite kind. Yeah. We ask you to write down your current bank balance, seal it in an envelope. Now it's time to take those envelopes out. Shout out your name all at once. Go. Why are these people doing this? I'd be like, um, none of your business. Count from one to ten out loud. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. So Giuseppe, is your bank balance $562? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you at a magic show then? Yeah. I mean, you have every right to be Why are you in it. Vegas? Yeah. Period. Uh, New Orleans. <laughs> oh, shoot. Right. <laughs> I mean, she has every right to still be there, but yeah, probably I be mean, making some yeah. more money, though. <laughs> She's living her life. Yeah. No, no, no. Of course. Hey, go to <laughs> do whatever you want. Of course. For sure. I'm just... I'm just she's, saying. She's living on the edge, man. Yeah, that's all That's all I was alluding For to. For sure. <laughs> this evening would not be possible if it weren't for our great benefactor, Arthur Tresk. See, are they going to tackle him, those people, and they're going to be like, he's, oh, the, he's quarterback, the quarterback, and he stole all their money? I took a guess north of 140. Am I right? That's 140 million. Oh, my God. How can he be right about his balance and everyone else be wrong? I think possibly because he, too, is wrong. He's the quarterback, like you said. Using the flashlight yeah. under your seat, start to warm up that paper. I think your correct balance begins warm to appear. To oh, did they all just get money? We have a flashlight for you. Yes. Oh, my God. His is now zero. What, like, is, what is going on? No. This is weird. A second ago, it said 144579651 But now it says $70,000 less. Oh. Ah. What is your new number? Oh, guess she can't be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now she can. She can be there every Friday, baby. Heck yeah. I mean, she's still got more work to do. <laughs> Everyone in this room was a victim of the hard times that hit one of America's most treasured cities. But all of you were insured by the same oh. company. Tressler Insurance. Ah. Oh, woof. Got eighty-two thousand dollars on my bank account. It says it right here on my cell phone. Yeah. Get your cell phones right now, everybody. Damn, I wish I could have went to a magic show like, <laughs> like this. That. Did you do this? We'd need access to information we could never get our hands on. Ah, uh, yes. Nah. Security questions, for instance, like I don't know, your mother's maiden name, or or the name of your first pet. Snuffles. You certainly would never tell us. Uh, oh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Oh, God. This girl's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's got no money. He's old. I ain't with him anymore. Uh, ah. Oh, because he oh, said free. Because he said freeze. Right. The word was freeze. Oh, oh, genius. Love that. I was so off on them tackling yeah. my cocaine. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Makes sense why they would choose Freeze because they knew he would he would come after them. The way that girl just like starfish jumped on top of the pile. If anyone's at home and you want to stop rewind and rewatch that, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> All right, I want everyone on the screen. Everyone. Do you think they took every single dollar in his bank account or left him? I mean, they said they left uh, him with the rolls and the and the jet. I don't know. Right. Which is why I'm like, I feel like he had, I mean, he does seem like he's freaking out, but I'm like, is he also part of it? Like Michael Caine, like he knows, like, oh. I don't know. Do you think he's the fifth horseman? I have no like, idea. I, I'm, I'm so, like, it's maybe, but it's all like, misdirect. I don't. Yeah. Like, or it could even be his part. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, 
uh, yeah, good luck. Oh. 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 Is that one of the tracking things? Yeah, I think so. Uh. Yeah, he's never gonna. F he's never finding them. That's just not happening. <laughs> am I wrong? But is this Mardi Gras or am I totally wrong? It looks like Mardi Gras. Okay. Yeah, with the beads and the colors and yeah. the celebration. Or maybe it's just a regular Saturday night in New Orleans. I hear they like to party. What are Why? you doing? See, like. Why did she hesitate? Y yeah, like uh. I'm like, is she the fifth horseman, and that's why she was doing the cards on the plane? Like, is there? But then I'm like, nah. Why? What would this be like? Well, they also did say this is her first time on the field yeah, from a desk job like, too. So why is she? Uh. Is she there as the you know the distraction? Pretty French girl shows up out of the blue, acts like she's my partner, and then she lets the bad guy go. Who exactly are you anyway? Oh. Yeah, see, that's where I'm like, she doesn't seem like a magician if she knows how to like jump over a fence like that and all this other juice. What is this? Wasn't there something about the eye at the beginning? Remember? Yes. Like she's been studying it. Still don't know about her. I'm back and forth on it. Mr. Bradley? Mr. Tressa would like you to join him for a drink. This makes me want to have a drink in a hotel. It's always a different vibe. It's like, is that $3 million check still good? <laughs> This is a magic trick. You, sir, are the the distraction while they set up the real trick. It's a hundred and forty million dollar distraction. That's quite a distraction. Yeah. Whatever you stand to make, I'll double it. Whoa. You expose them now and destroy them. Are you broke, bro? I, I was to gonna say five million. Must have he had money. 155 mil and they took 140, so I guess I would leave him 15, unless uh, I counted wrong. Yeah, you're right. But wasn't Michael Caine who the person in the hood? Is that person working for Michael Caine or is that someone totally different? Because I'm I'm a little lost there. Yeah. M remember I the person that was scouting them yes. at the beginning? Because then they See, started that's working. That's why I was like, he's on the plane, yeah. right? So that's because then they started working for they went to that apartment that I made a joke about. Is right. this the Oracle? And that's the like, I feel like that they were working for him. And then yeah. the, that's how and they got all his, well, I don't know, all of his. Well, it's going to be revealed at some point soon who's who they're working with. Boy, or I sure hope so, because yeah. we're really jumping through hoops right now. Yeah, we're like so lost. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your arm. I was a drunk jerk. I'm sorry, I was <laughs> a drunken asshole. Yes, I called it. Mm -hmm. Candidates for initiations must follow a series of commands with blind obedience. The horsemen, all of this is only to... To join the eye. Oh, that uh, apartment of the Oracle, that's to join that organization of whatever, I, I think. Right. Have you ever felt something that you can't see, but you know it's there? Got a little romantic tension Like what here. you're feeling right now between you and I? Whoa. What? Someone has heard every call, read every text. That's how they were able to stay ahead of us. God damn. And they also oh, stopped yeah. you from having a kiss, too. Yeah. Play through. Ah, stop. Zoom in tighter. Tighter. There. That's where he took my phone. <laughs> Put it back in and turn on the phone. They don't know that we know about the bug. As of this instant, we are ahead of them. That's a good point. Yeah. They who? They, them, whoever we're working for. Who are we working for? That's what we want to know. Yeah, we'd love to know as well. Watch, it's going to be Morgan Freeman. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably is Morgan Freeman. I, just, I don't like, know. And he's... So, but this is good. I like that it's not predictable. Yeah. I, I like being surprised. I'm just m literally throwing names out in the wind <laughs> right now, seeing which one sticks. FBI! It, All right. Just, I mean, they just escaped. Ah, okay, we're I'm just curious. What, what would they technically still charge them on? I mean, from stealing from him, I guess, right? Well yeah. Spent. Exceedingly well. How do you like your horse? Shredded. Did they leave them a little magical surprise in there? Oh, just this guy. Is that their next target? This looks like all a setup, right? Because they were like, they're here. As though they planned for, obviously, for them. I feel like yeah. they're always 10 steps ahead of... Yeah, of... Ah. Oh. Sneaky business. Ah! What is that? Okay. All right. Oh, what? No, no, no. No. Ooh. Oh my God! Where do these people learn to 
fight. You're just supposed to know magic. Come here. I didn't even see what you said. Oh my goodness. What game are you playing? What game are you playing? We're all good at six. Move to seven. What? Interesting. Is he, how's he doing that? He's like a chameleon. He could just, he needs to hear a couple things. He can be. Oh my God. He got it. I love him, but I'm not yeah. that good. Oh. Yeah, Flash, paper him out. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. Dude, he's amazing. What the heck? It's an escape artist. This is awesome. Whoa. Ah. That's amazing. Holy tamale. How do you fight against someone like this? You don't. I'd be like, I give up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Really? <laughs> yeah. We're doing magic. Ah. Oh, ow. Oh, yeah. Nope. Ah, you I'm sorry, I'm just not jumping in. I'm not. Yeah, here we go, baby. <laughs> Give me that. Ooh. Ah. Right on top of a nice dirty mattress. That's always fun. I'd rather fall on top of a dirty mattress than solid ground, though. <laughs> That's his every Sunday night. Who told you? Fall on top of dirty mattresses Sunday. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo's characters had a bad couple days. Yeah. Also, who knew that these magicians also know how to, like, fight? Are they, like, they're also no kung fu and stuff or whatever it is. Have like, plans okay. for Damn, she caught up quickly to him. Oh. I was going to say, New York traffic, this is uh Yeah, forget about fun. it, kid. There he is. Oh. Damn. Okay. I was going to say, after his magician career is over, he should think about being a NASCAR driver. Or just a kung fu fighter. That too. Get over! I hate side seat drivers. Oh. Ah. He is not going to be in the oh. car, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. he, he's gone. How, we don't know. Oh, no, he's oh. there. He's dead. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, God. You guys better get out of there. It's going to blow. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, boy. I was not expecting that. Really thought he was not going to be in the car. He's dead. I can't even imagine the awful traffic that would cause. <laughs> yeah. Is he really dead, though? It's a magician yeah, just I mean, saying. Yeah. Don't you find it peculiar that Interpol will send you a first timer off the desk to be your assistant? There's a sign in the case. Oh. Choosing a random card in the deck. It's getting in his head. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing with somebody wearing ankle weights. Keep up, Major Rose. I almost feel like he's in with the magic. See, because that's why I... What is going on? It's either like her or now I feel like it's like Morgan is yeah. the fifth one. Yeah. I think Morgan is the fifth. I think like, he's the one who sent them the cards and he's testing and them. And he's... Yeah. To see... Are they worthy? I think it's I think it's Morgan. He's the fifth horseman. I'm going with that. This is the part you're going to find particularly interesting, Agent Rhodes. They patched to my server after they accessed your mobile commands. Mm. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. I'm taking over. Fuck. Mm. He's got an interesting voice. If we hope to capture the horseman, then you need to have a little faith in me. Because I've done nothing to deserve otherwise. I just got my ass handed to me. I think it's huh. too I think it's too obvious for it to be her. Yeah, now I feel like Morgan like set her yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, right? Like is setting her up. Yeah, he's definitely I think he's the one who sent the cards. That's I it's gotta be. I don't yeah. know who else it could be. <laughs> There's like is it just the mysterious also, person? Also, I feel that's like him the video taking video of it all yeah. is him learning. If where they will eventually lead to, right? They're what is this? Where the hell is the goddamn safe? Sir, you got a phone call and said Washington wants the safe. You never heard that come out of my mouth, agent. Oh, the chameleon guy. They get the voices. Bullshit! No! What? Oh, God. Oh, he was hypnotized? Oh. This movie is insane. This team's loading the truck. Uh, oh, that's great. They're wow. so good. Wow. What the hell's going on? New orders. Open it up. So we stay with it. Wherever the safe goes, we go. 
it'll lead us right to him. Misdirection. Yeah, but will it, though? Now they have to know that, like, the safe is... Yeah, all right. Also, yeah, way to make it not obvious by, like, with, if, all, if, the with cop all, cars? all the cop cars following. Like, what are we doing here? This is not discreet. Ser- seriously. Remember the name Jack Wilder when you see us live, five points, queen, seven o'clock. The show's in a half an hour. It's exactly where we're headed. I don't want to be the naysayer, but these guys are they're kind of tricky. Yeah. God. He's finally gaining they... he's finally gaining respect for them saying that, you know, he understands with these guys. They're not what they seem. Right. Meaning like there's a reason they want all these people yeah. to go there, which is alas, another big distraction, I presume. We've got movement. Someone's walking towards the truck. Is it Interpol? No. Oh, okay. I'm following them just like you are. Guess what? I'm ahead of you now. If you want to look like even bigger idiots, why not open it? What the hell? What? Give me that. <laughs> oh, boy. That's awesome. I love it. Get back. One big fat joke. Ah, that's great. That's what you guys were guarding. <laughs> they have you chasing empty safes again. Eh? Wow. Once again, misdirection. That's what we said. Yeah, we've been saying it the whole time, man. They just don't listen to us. Wow. Oh, this is the Lego thing. Remember how there was a Lego? Yeah, at the apartment. Yeah. Yeah. That is such a... That's the awesome. The scope of that crowd. That is sick. Whoa, that is, Whoa, that is so that cool. That looks awesome. That's trippy. How do they do... What? Do you imagine if you were on acid watching this? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'd be in a hole crying. Oh, my God. It is about belief, faith, trust. But what happens if these qualities are not used for their higher purpose? It's crime. You're going to help us set a few things right. Hmm. Wow. They're going in the wrong direction and you know it. I got her. I got you back. Always going the wrong way, wrong direction. (laughs) Yeah. Never learn. Even if there is no I, if we were completely played and we spend the next 20 years in jail, then I just want to say that. I know. Me too. Ooh. Too sentimental for me. They're too cool to go to jail. Yeah, man. Just saying. They're too entertaining to go to jail. Also, they know how to break, break I was gonna through say, it all. They I, get keys through yeah. soda pops. I mean, these guys, we just, we don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's awesome. That's great. Did you guys really think it'd be that easy? Yeah, it's just like. Yes, we are going to reveal exactly where we'll be standing Come and get us. Are they on the other roof? Okay. So we'd like to start our show tonight by saying goodbye. Now you see me. (laughs) Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. It's time for us to disappear. What the? Are they? Whoa. No, those are projected people. Whoa! Oh my goodness, yes! That's awesome. Is that uh, Michael Caine's money? Oh no, he gave that away already. Too late. God damn. Like, dude, why are you crumpling that? <laughs> Put it in your pocket. Yeah, I'd be taking it all. So I guess this is it. Is it? Oh wow! Okay, she went in for the kill. He's like, oh wow, I should lose all my cases and insult my partners. I can see why she was into him. I mean, he insulted her whenever he could. <laughs> he questioned her. I mean, I'm, what, what would you not want? Oh. oh. Where's the real money? Is this our fifth horseman? Is it in the back of this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, they set up oh. Morgan Freeman? Oh, nice. That's what you get for oh. trying to expose yes. us. Yes, for trying to expose magicians. And so, the, ah, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So it was all just like a ploy to like get money, also reel him in, knowing that he would be following them. But also, why else? I still want to know who is in charge of the... It, oh, is that Lyle guy that went to the safe? But it, maybe it, it wasn't Michael Caine, but who is that Lyle guy? Because at the beginning, remember, uh, Morgan Freeman said that Lyle guy, he exposed him. He is, He's still alive, in my opinion. I yeah. just want to know who he is. I've been framed. I'm sure you were. Yeah, but I can prove it. Remember the rapid trick in the second show? 
The box was never empty. The room wasn't either. What? Oh. Transform the whole room into a giant rabbit box. You drop your guard and leave. Oh, with the mirror. Oh. Damn, that's brilliant. Wow. Brilliant. Is that, is that, did he survive? Is that, what's his he, name? He, it looks like him. Dave Franco's character. Oh my God. Okay. That is so much money. Yep. He survived. Yep. How did he survive that accident? It's locked. Weren't you listening? Nothing's ever locked. Ah. <laughs> well done, Mr. Wilder. He's the greatest escape artist ever. <laughs> he escaped in a standard FBI vehicle, right? Yeah. Oh. Made you to the bridge where the uh -huh. other horsemen were waiting oh, for an identical he... replacement. Oh. Now, it only took a split second for you to lose contact with the, with the switch. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Wait. How? What? Oh my and God. And then that is a, uh, uh huh. Okay. Damn. That is amazing. That's awesome. Wow. That is quite the plan. They're really looking to Lionel Shrike. The insurer who denied the family's claim, Tressler Insurance. The bank that carried the note, Credit Republican of Paris. <laughs> okay, now it's playing. No, it's not. What if all this was just leading up to us getting mugged in Central Park at 2 a.m.? No, I'm telling you, we're right where we need to be. Oh, remember that thing she said about the tree growing in the park for 20 years? Yes. Or something like that? The Lionel Shrike tree. Ah. Yeah. And the card encased in glass. That's right. Whoa. Whoa. That is what? so cool. What? I see you. That's awesome. Open Sesame. Oh, the... Is it Michael King? I don't know. That was my prediction early on, but I don't know. And the FBI got past them, not once, not twice. Interpol but consistently. woman. Almost as if they were on the in... Inside. Oh God, it was Mark? What? No! Are you kidding me? You. What? Holy junk. Oh my God, I did not see that coming at all. I want you to spend the rest of your life in this cell. How you let yourself be so blinded by your ego that you convinced yourself that you were one step ahead when you were always two steps behind. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I did not see that coming. Me neither. That was a really good twist. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, like, I mean, it was, why? it was a really convincing chase. I did not see that coming. I, me too, <laughs> he's speaking for When I said always be the smartest guy in the room, we were in agreement. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was testing you. I have always been a, a hundred percent believer in the amount of energy I have expended to keep these infidels on point. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is a great twist. Welcome to the eye. What? What's gonna happen? What? Oh, what? Ah, what? <laughs> it's a great twist, but so he had to be an FBI That's what agent I'm for all saying. those I'm years. Saying like too? how exactly for him? That was my main thing of like, I mean, yeah, but he's part of the FBI where people know him and trust him. He's yeah. on a team. Yeah, that takes a lot of time effort. Yeah, yeah. it was all connected. Credit Republican, Tressler Insurance, and then Corn. What's the connection to Shrike? Is that Elias Cotillas? Elkhorn started as a safe manufacturer. They used cheap steel. And when he got to the bottom of the river, the safe warped and he was trapped. He was your father. Oh, it was his dad. Uh, oh, that's why he hates Morgan Freeman. Yep. Exposed his dad. The logical conclusion for you is to take this case to its resolution and for you to turn me in. She's like, yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> that I think some things are best mm. left unexplained. One more secret to lock away. Oh, that's cute. So is he going to still continue to be an FBI agent? Uh, I mean, I, I think Yeah, I guess so, he's still got to right? keep it like up, they, right? Yeah. We are bonded forever with this lock. <laughs> On the count of three, open your eyes and tell me what you see. One, two, three. Okay. Ah. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, it was Louis Letier who directed this. This uh, was the director of Incredible Hulk. It's funny that he. Oh actually, yeah, and that's it, why. Well, no, um, Mark. Oh Mark no, Ruffalo, he wasn't the one. It, it, but Is but it... f- but fun fact: even though Ed Norton was the Hulk in that film, yeah. he actually wanted Mark Ruffalo to be the Hulk before. Yeah, but they actually got Edward Norton, and then I uh, didn't there was know a major that. clash between Kevin Feige, Marvel, and Ed Norton. So like, eh, let's go with Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> oh. Um, but that's cool that he finally got to work with Mark Ruffalo. So yeah. Um, I'm always a sucker for a great twist. And yes. Again, the whole I, I do have some questions about. I mean. And I have to really think about it more in terms of, again, you know, revenge is a is a fickle matter. And, yeah. you know, what Morgan Freeman did to Mark Ruffalo's father, I can understand wanting to, hey, I'm going to have to come up with some elaborate plot and scheme and I'm going to yeah. have to join the FBI and then I'm going to have to search out magicians and escape art and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I guess I could buy into this. Again, if I really thought way too hard on him, I'd probably come up with some logic of, yeah, this plan's not going to work. But I could probably do that with a lot of movies that I yeah. love. And just, you know what? It was a great twist. But again, in the comment section, if you think I'm wrong and say, hey, Andrew, you're wrong. It was a crap twist. That's cool. Um, but I th- I liked it. Um, I, I did not see it coming. I, I, yeah, I didn't at all. Again, I was under the impression it was probably Michael Caine was, uh, yes. was him. Or, or the blonde or the, girl. Or the Interpol and woman. We went or maybe it was Morgan, Morgan Freeman. So again, I really didn't see it as Mark Ruffalo. So I'm, yeah. again, I'm a sucker for a good twist. And I also just, I'm also a sucker for magic in general. And I just loved all the, uh, just... The uh, just all the magician stuff, all the magic stuff. It was just, mm. it was really, it was elaborate. It was fun. Uh, I just, I, I just loved it all. It was great. Uh, yeah. this was, it was a fun ride. This movie. What did you think? It was a lot of fun. I feel like him being twelve though and carrying that grudge throughout his entire life is yeah. like. Wow, that's tough. I get that you would also need many, many years to think this through. (laughs) But I also think, like, God, life. You get through, like, high school and college and people come your way and you're probably Mm -hmm. like, "Uh, how am I still going to get... I'm just uh, Mark Ruffalo's character in this. I'm like, you have a lot of resolve, buddy. The fact yeah. from 12 until now and you carried it through. Cool. Mm. Um, the one scene that keeps like in my head, keeps messing me up, is that when Morgan calls him and tells him that girl was not assigned to you, she chose it, right? Why, yeah. why is she throwing off your game? That he so genuinely was like, wait, she was she was assigned. Like she had to be on this case, right? Why would that, that, that's the only thing that I'm like, oh, of course it would mess him up. Maybe that one little detail, but he really worked, he worked out the whole thing. Like he saw the whole plan ahead of him. So, uh, the phone call thing was the main thing that threw me off from that. I think because he was so genuine about like, wait, what do you mean? This girl, she could not. And then he yells at her being like, I'm not asking you, I'm asking him. Um, when I'm like, yeah, but the whole time he was in on the entire thing. Yeah. Right. And he didn't need to be mad in front of anyone else to make the thing work. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'd be interested too in a rewatch, just like now that we know yeah, the twist, like, like looking at all the signs of Mark Ruffalo. Everything. Because when you watch this in, in the first half, it really, uh, just before I accidentally spoil it, because I don't want to, have you seen the film The Fugitive with Tommy Lee Jones and Harrison Ford? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not going to spoil. Anyways, in that film, Tommy, like Lee, have, Tommy but- Lee Jones is on the hunt for Harrison Ford. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. But it, it really felt like, you know, that in a sense of Mark Ruffalo is really going, hunting them down and will, will do anything to stop them. And from that perspective, I loved it. And like, yeah, I would have never, ever. That's why I never would have guessed the twist uh, in this in terms right. of like that. No, he's the one who hired them in the beginning. Right. And <laughs> um, he's putting in thing. all that effort. Yeah, which was great. And then also, too, like he's ridiculous fueling the Interpol woman and yeah. he's and he's like actually physically fighting them and doing it. I'm like this is that's good what stuff. messes me up yeah like, no that's it, great for a first time watch it throws us off the yeah, set but yeah. also I'm like yeah but we're are you also an actor as your character yeah. right because he doesn't it's yeah that's that all of that is like oh it, it, even when you're sitting down to write the script you're yeah. like it may not make total sense because yeah, why would he need to be yelling yeah. at her or the other people to make his plan work he doesn't <laughs> yeah but um it makes it better obviously for the story for the audience I have no doubt there were a rare group of people that might have guessed that it that might have been seen Mark it Ruffalo. coming yeah Mark Ruffalo and yeah it's off to you people but I gotta imagine it was a rare rare few but still that's um Again, I, I really did enjoy it. But uh, again, uh, my favorite part of this film, besides that twist, was 
watching the camaraderie and the chemistry between the four of them, I thought they all did such a great job and I loved all their interactions mm -hmm. and the way they worked with each other and the way they got comfortable with each other too. Like even when he's like, he, just the simple interaction when they were in the elevator, he's like, you know, uh, in all the, in oh, the year right. we worked together, I just want to say, uh, I thought you were a dick and uh, yeah, that's it. I just, yeah. Just little interactions like that. Just I get invested in, char in character interactions like that. And again, I just thought they all had such great chemistry. And oh. I loved watching them again work together. And I also love scenes too when they were like, wait, how did they do that thing with the safe? And I, I like that instead of talking about it, they showed us how they came up with yeah, these schemes. Absolutely. And I thought it was just fun the way they do it in a nonlinear way. Oh, yeah. How they tied like the, the mirror thing with the rabbit to the to the case thing well, and then it's, the big like yeah. thing you're like oh my yeah. god okay and That's, again it's also for like when you come to rewatch for a second third or fourth time you're like yeah foreshadowing okay this is cool except you don't know to look for that big of a foreshadow in one little instance yeah. of, of a trick right totally but i think that's why we thought that or at least why I thought the foreshadowing was her playing with cards on the plane yeah. with mark ruffalo's character being like is she trying to throw him off some scent and make herself look like I'm learning, but like she knows everything like that. Yeah. That also was a thing where I was like, any little thing in here, is it foreshadowing? Which is probably their, their ploy to be like, yeah, you're going to think it's everything else except for the one thing that you're staring at the entire yeah. time during and this movie. Yeah, I don't know if it would warrant an actual, I mean, I know they made a sequel, which I don't know anything about. Um, if this is obviously, uh, gets a good number of views, obviously I assume we're going to do a reaction. Heck but. Yeah. Um, point I'm making is I even I was very fascinated and um, obviously I, as mentioned many times I love that twist with Mark Ruffalo I'd be I, I'm very fascinated even if they showed a flashback I don't need like per se a whole movie of just with Morgan Freeman's character and uh, Mark Ruffalo's father Elias Cotillas in terms of oh, what, what happened right. like how did we get here yeah like I mean I just I was actually very and again I was m most fascinated about just what was going on with our four main characters and Mark Ruffalo, the chase and all that stuff. Cause just, it was so mesmerizing. Yeah, all that, all that was. fun stuff and all the magic, right. <laughs> just throw magic. I'm entertained. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I mean, yeah, if you give me even, um, I, I don't know if it's going to be necessary. Now you see me too. Cause I don't have no idea what the plot is in that film, but right. I, even if it was in this film, which again, it was not necessary, but I would, I would have definitely been intrigued if even if it was like a t five, 10 minute scene where if they would have just, just visually. Giving us a little more just, foundation yeah, just a little more. between Morgan and the dad. Just just so I could have had just a little bit of a visual again, mm -hmm. even with the dialogue that they gave me that was definitely enough. This is not a criticism. It's just something like I would have loved to have seen. Yeah, just well, it gives us that payoff more, right? Yeah. Because you're saying if you saw that foundation set up, Mark we would feel his more. revenge yeah. more. I still felt it, but I would have felt it even yeah, more. Yeah, I kind of did, but yeah. not really until the end. And I went and we went, oh, now we see the connection. Yeah. Which, yes, you would, you would want to like kill those people or, or mess them up, right? Yeah. Morgan's character, I, bad I, enough. I, I would be like, I mean, again, I still was on Mark Ruffalo's side in terms of yeah. I, I get where he's coming from and I would oh, totally, yeah. like if I, that were me in his position, I would totally want Morgan Freeman in Absolutely. there for the rest of his natural life. Yep. But if you show it to me, then it's like, I'm so on board with you. I'm extra yes, get on board. Him, get him in that jail yeah. cell. Like, show me the dad dying yeah. in, the, in the safe, in, in, the, safe. Ocean, in the ocean and yeah. then the kid there and he's lonely and he's now without a dad like it shows a little bit i mean that's the beginning of every disney movie right parent dies kids left alone we're all like weeping at the end because of the foundation they've set up out of right? subject question i'm very curious so elias cotiers who of course played the great casey jones and turtles uh, teenage Mutant ninja turtles one and three he plays mark ruffalo's father as we see in the newspaper clipping there uh-huh how much does he get paid just for a newspaper just clipping a, of his photo? Like, and I'm just curious. How much do you get paid for just a picture? I don't know. I guess picture? if your face is in there, I mean, it's, you're not going to get... You're not getting nothing. You're getting something you're for getting that. You're getting something. I don't know how much that would be, I mean, though. <laughs> I'd be uh, whatever they offered. I mean, if it's more than, yeah. it's, I mean, still, whatever you get, it's like, here's a picture. Here's some money. Here you yeah. go. That's awesome. Either I way. wonder. That's a good I'll question. I'll get 1% of the gross. Thank you very much. <laughs> I doubt that it. It works for me. <laughs> like he yeah. didn't do any work. He's yeah. like, here's a headshot from 1979. <laughs> you guys can use that. Yeah. Um, o overall though, I, I had a blast with this movie. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, 
There's a reason it's 7.2 on IMDb oh, and it, it has so almost oh. like 4.5 stars. Yeah, this movie is wildly entertaining. It, it moves really quick. It has good dialogue and it constantly keeps you guessing. Yeah, it keeps which you Which I on the really edge of your enjoy. Seat. And yep. there's, I mean, a lot of these movies, I feel like I'm not, I'm, we can be somewhat ahead. We're like, ah, oh, we really saw that coming without like telling you guys that. Yeah. And this one, I, was tr- I was just guessing. I was throwing S-H-I-T at the wall, well, you guys heard, and I was not right in any of that. Well, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when I'm able to predict things. And I know sometimes I get criticized for that in the comments. Like, stop predicting. Stop spoiling things. Just enjoy. And it's like, that's one of the things I like doing is predicting <laughs> things, not spoiling. He likes but- to spoil. Yes, I know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, I, it's, it's, it's not that I like. It's just sometimes I just... It, and you, again, it's it's hard writing for sure. I get it. I've, yeah. I've tried to attempt to do it and I suck at it. I'll, I'll admit it. Uh, it's very difficult to write. So um, I, I just like playing the prediction game. But on the, on the flip side, that's one of my pet peeves. I hate being able to predict things. So when something is able to really yeah. get me on a twist, I'm genuinely happy to when I see it. Oh, yeah. And I mean, the thing is, is uh, you guys know, when you watch so many movies and so much TV and you golf so much media... You kind of see twists and turns coming because you're just like, uh, they're just following tropes of a thing. Exactly. This movie just didn't follow any tropes I've seen Which before and made it wildly entertaining with yeah. really good actors that I believe that were like grounded. The, my biggest pet peeve, which I, you guys have heard me say, if I don't believe the actors, then I kind of am like, I'm out. The illusion um, it breaks. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I no can't, I can't handle that. And these guys were great. Super yes, grounded. Everyone in it. Awesome. 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 Great casting. Yes. Which I, always uh, very much appreciate um yeah i would give it out of 10 i'm gonna go for like an uh, an eight an eight out of ten i would maybe even go like 8.5 thank you we i was gonna say i'm going for an eight so we can't have the same yeah i'll put it i'll put it up to an 8.5 because i thought this was just it was a blast like i would uh this is a lot of fun i would have loved to be having like some whiskey i would and watch this so that anytime mark ruffalo's like i'm getting a drink i'd be like me too (laughs) If they would have showed me that flashback scene, it would have been an I'm just kidding. Uh, no, no, no. But uh, I'll go with an eight. That's still a high score. So, yeah. Maybe it's in the second one. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe they set the foundation there. Okay. Then if they put it in the second one, I'll go back to an 8.5 for this one. Okay. But, yeah. Well, well, yeah. well. He's moving. He seems like a fickle guy, right? He's right. back and forth on it, depending upon if they set the foundation or not. Yeah, exactly. This guy. That's well. exactly how I am. Okay. Well, I mean, I think those are our last thoughts. You guys need to... Put in the comments, number one, just be like, hey, you're cool. Uh, tell tell me if you like my new T-shirt. It's big. It's oversized. It that says Los Angeles cool. with a cool car on it. It's, gives me a Miami Vice type of feel. I like yeah, it. Yeah, like a 80s. 90s. I was 80s, thinking 80s, 80s vibe. Maybe it's 80s. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what, anything from 80s or 90s. I was born, obviously, in 2005. Look at my <laughs> face. Um, any last words? Just Batman uh, man. And uh, no, just uh, this, like I said, this was a fun, entertain me, uh, entertain me, entertain, <laughs> entertaining film, uh, yeah. edge of your seat, fun twist or good twist rather, uh, fun characters. And like you said, really grounded and, and magic it's entertaining film. I really enjoyed stuff. it. We had a blast a We love you guys and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.